Simply Red is not a solo act like I thought. It is a band who is led by Mick Hucknell, who inspired the name Simply Red by his lovely ginger hair. So uh, here is their first big hit, although it's him singing it in later years, which kind of makes more sense for the song to me. Okay, so this song has a really interesting origin. At 17 years old, Mick Hucknall went to an art lecture and his teacher said to him that some of the finest artists of all time used a stream of consciousness to put together the greatest pieces of art. So stream of consciousness is what it says on the tin. It is a natural flowing of thoughts and feelings of the creator. So Mick Hucknell just sat and wrote out ideas until a fully formed lyric came out. And this was the second song that he wrote using this method. Now it's a method that's been used throughout time by lots of different well-known artists, writers, and musicians, including Virginia Woolf, James Joyce, The Beatles, Bob Dylan, and even Eminem. And it really shows that there are amazing things going on in our brains if only we don't get in our own way. Holding back the ears. Chance for me to escape from all I've known. Holding back the tears. Cause nothing here is wrong. I've wasted all my Wasted all those years Nothing had the chance to be good Nothing ever could, yeah. I'm so um, intrigued by his method. I will talk about his singing in a moment, but um, another thing that inspired this song that he kind of clung on to to help him have this stream of consciousness was the thought of his mother abandoning him when he was three years old and it's it must have been very therapeutic to him to allow these thoughts and feelings to find their way onto the page and I think some of the greatest artists do use their music and their art as therapy. His voice is so smooth his voice really embodies that method. It just feels like a flow. It is so gorgeous and easy. There's nothing in the way. He's not trying too hard. He's just, he's just being. And that is so incredibly comforting to listen to. And enjoying. And he's, of course, inspired by lots of um, blues artists and soul artists like Otis Redding and Marvin Gaye. All right. 
to get that in the orchestration in there. Like, even when he's going for it there, it's just still a comfort, his voice, isn't it? It's so warm and lovely and um, it's really, it's just nice. And another reason that you can tell that he just enjoys life, he enjoys singing, he's not taking himself too seriously. I, I go on about this a lot because I feel like it. the tortured artist is such a... A thing that we cling on to and we feel like we have to be tortured in order to be an artist and I don't think that is true at all. I mean some people use their art as a fluid way to move out of their tortured feelings but um, it isn't a prerequisite. You don't have to be tortured and you can also just be enjoying life. It's about finding that flow and if it's through having a terrible time, I'm sorry, and but it doesn't have to be through that also. And he is able to have fun with it. He even did an episode of Family Guy in which he parodied himself and sung Holding Back My Farts. I love that. <laughs> Wasted all of those years And nothing had the chance to be good Cause nothing ever could That is amazing, hearing all those people sing back. It makes you want to cry. See how lovely and open he is? He emotionally doesn't get in his way, he physically doesn't get in his own way. This, it, this sounds like such a vague way of, of coaching but it's really, really true. I know most vocal coaches really know this, that, you know, we have all our technical things and those are tools, but ultimately what we're trying to get is a person to just, to just sing, to just not, to not put a wall up physically, whether it's tension in the body or whether it's tension in the mind or in the emotions. And so it's just allowing that, that through line from self to, the connection with others and it sounds so vague but it's so true and it really if you can find that then you've hit gold beautiful it's all i have to say that's all A beautiful voice that embodies flow and freedom and therefore it just connects so well thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did please do like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one Bye.